Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I thought I'd take a quick look at the Arduino Uno board that came with the Arduino starter kit that I purchased. This is the box that it uh, initially is in. And there's the Arduino. Now at the heart of this board is the Atmel microcontroller chip. It's the largest chip on the board. Uh, for the UNO, it is the Atmega 328P, and that has uh, 32 kilobytes of memory, I believe, and operates at, uh, has a clock of 16 megahertz. So this is a microcontroller development platform, and you use uh, this board along with um, the Arduino uh, IDE, Integrated Development Environment Software, uh, to write programs that are sort of intuitive. You don't have to know complicated C or assembly language. Um, and you write programs and you use the microcontroller as the brains of the operation and teach it or tell it to uh, read signals from the outside world and respond to those signals depending on you know your imagination how you want uh, this microcontroller uh, to react to the outside world whatever you're measuring and whatever you're controlling so you've got the microcontroller chip and then you have the basic support circuitry for that chip that allows you to access the information and um, respond to that information to the outside world. Uh, you have a 3.3 volts uh, regulator and a 5 volt regulator and a USB input. There's a, a reset switch that allows you to reset the microcontroller uh, to start your program all over again. Uh, this essentially is an autonomous board. Um, initially, you know, after you program it, that program is in uh, flash memory. So when you turn the power off, that program remains in the chip. So initially, it, you can um, have it so it gets its power from the USB cable and uh, once it's programmed you can have uh, maybe a 9 volt battery or a separate power source uh, to power this board and uh, have it so it's no longer connected to a computer after it's programmed and it just runs on its own and does whatever you're, you've programmed it to do. So again you have the larger chip was, which is the uh, microcontroller and you have uh, a set of digital pins that provide uh, 5 volts, 0 or 5 volts. You have analog input that accepts 0 to 5 volt inputs and that's where you would have sensors uh, connected that are reading something in the outside world and giving uh, information to the microcontroller that uh, will utilize in your program. And there's also uh, access to 3.3 volts and 5 volts. Uh, there are other, uh, besides, you know, custom-made circuits that you build, there are ready-made uh, boards that do various things and they're called shields that you can plug right into these uh, female headers. So you pretty much stack other boards on top of this board to increase the functionality and the complexity of whatever circuits you're designing. There's also something they call um, an ICSP connector. It's an in-circuit serial programmer. Normally 
you have an external uh, piece of hardware that you use to program a microcontroller to download uh, your software onto the microcontroller and that's usually written in C or assembly language but with um, the unique thing about the Arduino Uno is that there is a preloaded piece of software on there called a bootloader program that allows you to use a more simpler or intuitive programming language uh, to program and store those programs on the Arduino chip. The other support chip on here of course is you have USB access and there's a, a smaller microcontroller on there at least on the Uno. Uh, I think the Leonardo uh, has that function built onto uh, a different version of an Atmel chip so you don't need a separate uh, circuit circuit to provide USB support but this uh, Uno has uh, a chip an IC microcontroller uh, surface mount there that uh, provides an interface from USB to the serial input uh, pins on the microcontroller. So that's uh, the Arduino Uno and the next thing uh, I'll be doing is installing it on a small cardboard uh, wooden uh, platform that uh, the breadboard also plugs onto to make it easier to, uh, to wire your experiments to this micro, uh, microcontroller or Arduino Uno. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the experiments uh, that I will be putting together from this Arduino starter kit. Thanks for watching.